When he passed away in December, Christy Hennessy left behind him a, a fine legacy of songs and memories. Have a look. Long as I love my old resume. Oh, right through the night without a worry or a care. I'm a messenger by bringing my love to you. A messenger by bringing my love to you. Yeah. Tell me, sir. Yeah, just how far. Be a star. You let me go without a word. I travel far, set new routes. The unique voice of Christy Hennessy. In his final months, he recorded an album of duets which documented his career as a writer. And the list of those involved is a, a who's who of Irish music, including Christy Moore and Mary Black and Ronan Keating and more. And tonight, his daughter joins us for a special performance of his song, Messenger Boy, accompanied by the band Monto. Will you welcome, please, Hermione Ross? <laughs> Hello, Pat. 
how are you? I'm good, yes, thank good to you. See you. It's lovely to see you too. Um, singing a song like that, in fact, singing any of your father's songs so soon after his death, he only died in December. Do you find it a bit difficult? Um, I, I had to be very careful not to watch the uh, VT. Um, I, I, I think. Uh, I think that could have sent me over the top of it. So I just have to kind of put it out of my head and think about him in a positive way. Yeah. Because you worked with him, you were his manager, uh -huh. you were his duettist. Uh -huh. And of course, looking at the pictures of you and him, I mean, you two were just so close as father and daughter. Oh, he, he was my best friend. He was a completely wonderful soul. And uh, I just don't think he could be topped, really. In all these years I've spent traveling the world, meeting artists, meeting great people, there was no one quite like him. Um, your dad, he was ill and I heard he was ill and then I heard he was very ill. It, mm -hmm. it all seemed to happen so quickly. But that's what happens with mes mesothelioma, um, unfortunately. What, what is that? Um, it's um, cancer caused by asbestos, um, which is a horrific disease. Um, it takes 30 to 40 years to develop and, um, and when it takes hold, um, it takes the body in a very short space of time unless you catch it very early. Now he was working away on the album of duets. Did he know how ill he was? Did he know how little time he had left? He didn't start the duets album until he was well into his illness. I think he believed he was going to get better and he didn't kind of want to have to tell the world that he was unwell. He didn't really, really want to divulge that. He just wanted to, he wanted to um, just sort of work on himself, I guess, in every which way. I guess it's positive thinking and, and he it's never your caught diet cancer, and all he? that stuff. No, he, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I, don't, I, I, I think he thought that if you gave into that, then it would get you, effectively. Mm. But it's such a vicious disease, he didn't really mm. have any choice. It was just his time, and that, it's terribly sad. And but the irony is that his career was actually really on the cusp of, of happening all over again and really big. Yeah, which is incredible. A, a, a two-album firm deal, which is wonderful. He was about to go into the Gaiety Theatre with his musical that he'd written. He was going to do a one-man show with it. There was, there was film music, there was TV music, uh, it, the songs to write for people. It was the first time I could really really see an, a major amount of international success for him. Will that musical ever surface now? Oh, definitely. <laughs> I guess I have to, I, I guess I have to kind of carry on. He, he spent a long time on that. Not being able to read and write, he was quite exceptional in the way that he managed to put it together, you know. Yeah. I'd work with him for hours on the computer, I was sort of reading him bits back and he'd say, well, now that character wouldn't say that and maybe it should be like this. And, and then my mum took over when I got sore fingers, you know, and then my kid brother. And I didn't read the whole thing until the very, very end. And I sort of missed out on the last third, really. I kind of passed it over to the rest of the family. And then when I got to the point of reading the whole thing and getting to the end, I thought it was a masterpiece. So I do have to do something because so it's very magical. I'm looking forward to seeing it okay. someday. Once again, Hermione, um, our sympathies to you and your family on Thank the death you. of Christie because he was a gentle man and you can put the words together or you can separate them mm -hmm. and it was true he was that. in either case. He was that. Christy Hennessy was a wonderful man. Thank Hermione, you. thank you very Thanks, much. It's lovely to see you. Hermione Ross. <laughs>